Hey guys, this is Cody with JNC Guns again. Today we're reviewing AK-47 magazines. I didn't realize it, but uh, over time I've accumulated quite a few different uh, magazines. Everything from 75 round drums to 5 round uh, or 10 round uh, hunting bags. Yeah, can't even remember if that's 5 or 10. I think it's 5. Anyhow, I accumulated quite a lot of things and I've learned quite a few things. Uh, by having a variety. Um, starting from uh, this side going this way, uh, these are two actual Russian Arsenal uh, 40 round magazines and I've gotten I have a, a CAA AK-47 uh, mag clamp. I uh, flip put both of them on there. You know honestly it makes the gun so heavy that it does help reduce a little bit of the felt recoil. The amount of weight uh, is, is pretty substantial, but these are very very solid. These are definitely of all of these uh, In my opinion these Russian Arsenal ones are the highest quality um, And I'm, I'm not partial just because they're Russian or anything like that it, It's it's it just I've, I've had better success with these um, than all the others now. This uh, is another 40 round magazine uh, made by American Tactical I don't know if you can quite see that um, it's 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 good, but my problem with it is if you look at the feed lips, um, you can see there's two pieces of metal. You see the two separation, the sheet metal there. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper, I think. This isn't doesn't stand out as far. This lip here, um, which is used, I don't know if that helps or not. But this lip here is used uh, to lock the magazine in place. This one doesn't lock nearly as firmly. And this magazine also has a bit of a, a slice through it on, on that side, which is different, and I don't know what it has that for, but when you feel the magazine, it feels thin, like a thin, more thin aluminum. Um, everything, it has a lot more sharp edges all over the whole magazine. This back here is not sealed together. Again, I don't know if you can see that, this, this back, back rim here, I can't, it's kind of hard to show it on the camera. This whole rim, these two pieces of metal aren't sealed together necessarily. And uh, this is a little bit more thin. And I've probably, I mean it works, it functions flawlessly, it feeds great, the spring is very strong. I uh, haven't had it catch at all. Uh, it's just cheaper, a cheaper made magazine. When you compare the two, you can really see the biggest difference. Uh, one is, th this one on the, this side here that I'm moving, uh, it's thin sheet metal. Uh, whereas the other one is just a solid piece. So I guess that's some of the bigger difference. Um, as well, the, the, the back, the clamps, you know, this is just one solid piece, this back here all the way through, whereas this is two thin pieces put together. This is steel, these Russian ones are steel, and the American Tactical is, uh, feels like a type of aluminum or, or lighter metal. Um, and and the, it's, it's just not as stamped, it's not as well made, but it costs about the same price which I thought was uh, pretty unique, seeing how you get a much better deal with the Russian ones than you do with the American Tactical. Both work, I just see these ones lasting quite a bit longer. Now this one, I've wanted one of these for a long time, or a polymer type magazine, because I've heard that when you drop them, uh, the, the rounds don't fly out of the magazine uh, like they would on a metal one. I don't know this to be true, but I can tell you that this spring is the hardest to push out of all of them. Um, these Russian ones I actually bought brand new, this American Tactical was brand new, um, and all the rest I bought used, all of these here have been used. But these definitely have um, the highest pressure springs out of all of them. So they come with a metal base plate, these are Tapco magazines, 30 rounders, um, you know, American made. And uh, I mean, they, they've been high quality for me, they've worked great, they're easy to take apart. Um, these are probably my second highest preference out of the whole grouping of this stuff. Um, I actually prefer it over, uh, I believe this is a Romanian manufactured, um, oh no, sorry, sorry, this is an East German. This 30 rounder is East German. Uh, it's a little bit lighter steel if you look at it, but again, these ones feel like they're actual steel, um, which, you know, it's, it's some people prefer one, some people prefer the other. I think I'm going to like the polymer more simply for one reason. Um, and that main reason is rust. I'm not a fan of rust. Doesn't matter how good your stuff is coated in between the cracks where it's not coated, it can rust. Um, which is why I have these out here. I bought these on special. I don't know if you can really see the quality of rust we have there. 
these were two bucks, two bucks a piece, and you can tell. <laughs> some of them, they all fit into the gun, some of them, the springs don't go all the way down. I think I piece parted them, this one has a significant dent here. Uh, I piece parted them, I believe these two middle ones here don't work at all, and these two feed perfectly fine. Now, my only apprehension to buying these was that I, I would buy, I think I bought five, and I just threw one of them completely away. Uh, my apprehension was would I get one that works at all. And they're not pretty, but these two function flawlessly, they work just like the steel ones. And if you count the prices of the other ones, I bought uh, five, I bought them all for two bucks, that's ten bucks for two magazines. It's a hell of a deal. But, these Tapco polymer mags work better, they don't rust, and I think I paid, I think I paid five, maybe six bucks. Um, and maybe a dollar for shipping. So I think that is a far better deal than anything else I've seen. I think, I think they were five fifty plus shipping, a dollar of shipping. Now, um, this next one is a 75 round drum. Now this is not the Chinese kind where you can undo the back and drop the rounds in there and just tighten the spring. This one to load it, uh, if you look in there, you can see kind of a, a fake round. Now what you do to load it is you push this here, you push it up, and uh, push it up oop, and those drop down in there. Then you load around like that and then you release it. Then you push it again and it drops down further. Sometimes you have to help it along. Now in my opinion this is not a very reliable system. Uh, it's very difficult if you, if you see here um, it's very difficult to store it for a long time without, it, without rust uh, occurring and it's just, it's a little bit inferior make to me. It's a 75 round drum. It's inferior to the Chinese ones which have the twist backs. Chinese ones I think I've seen them for 15 or 20 dollars more. Uh, but my, my take on it is you can buy the Romanian ones and you can buy the Chinese one for 20 bucks more. But the Chinese one will work and this one won't. So is it really worth spending the extra 20 bucks? I, th I think so. But being cheap, trying to be cost effective as I like to call it, I bought the Romanian one, and I'm wishing I'd bought the Chinese. They work. I mean, you can get them to work, but it just takes a lot more effort and a lot more work. Uh, last thing I'm going to talk about is this uh, five-round hunting magazine I have. I believe it's five rounds. Um, you got to be careful with all magazines because Wasser 10s can be single-cap magazines, which means they're not a, or a single stack, which means they're not side by side. They're not staggered rounds. Um, so instead of being like this and then having uh, you know, two more sit on top of them. They're just a single stack, like that. So they don't fit in, in standard AK magazine well. So you need to look at the thickness of the magazines because what had happened to me is I had bought uh, a five rounder, and as it comes out, as it turns out, it was for a Wasser and it wouldn't fit into my AK. So another thing that a lot of people complain about is wiggle in the AK. Um, that's why you kind of have to buy them. The polymer ones aren't as loud when they when they're in the gun. They wiggle around. Here, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So this is an Arsenal Armory AK. Now all of these magazines fit into it. Um, so when you have, this is the one that came with my, my AK. If you, if you can hear it and see it, here, a little bit of wiggle. They can be quite noisy. An AK is not a quiet gun until you've taken electrical tape and some other accessories and applied them in key areas. And I've got another video where I do that for you and show you exactly what I mean. Some of these magazines lock tighter than others. Some of them don't fit at all. Uh, mine all fit, but you need to always test them. So this creates the least amount of noise. Now this is more of a, uh, this five rounder is more of a uh, magazine that's gonna be used for hunting. That's its purpose, so that you don't have oversized magazines. Some states have capacity um, ammo caps on that. So this polymer magazine, it's gonna be uh, my favorite, if I can get it in because they're a little more difficult to put in, but they're, they're silent. So that's a big benefit to me. You don't have the rounds uh, banging around in the magazine and uh, hitting the others. It all depends on your application, whatever you're going to use it for. But they do fit a little more snugly, and uh, therefore they take more time to put in on average. So uh, the 40 rounders, the Russian ones, I mean, I, I, I hate to be terribly biased, but these ones fit the best. They're tight, they don't wiggle around, but the only, the only negative aspect is they're heavy and uh, metal rounds 
or, or brass cased or polymer cased coat as a lot of the wolf is bouncing around in a, in a metal magazine can cause a lot of noise so that is my take on uh, the different magazines I have I hope you enjoyed it um, if you have any questions on different magazines I have other ones as well anything you'd like to see me do um, I do have some experience with different magazines and various types of AKs uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you on that and or uh, get a video for you and uh, get some info out there. So again, this is JNC Guns. Subscribe if you like us. Watch our other videos and have a great day.